Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Today, before starting our in-depth analysis, I will quickly summarize the main takeaways of this video right here, since your time is precious. So, Upwork is one of the leaders in this new and growing gig economy with strong revenue growth, good management, solvent, which is important since they're currently not profitable. However, when looking at this beautiful DCF model, we can still see that there is a 200% upside from these current levels. Now, since the details of this model and the fundamental analysis is crucial, sit back and relax and let's start with this video, as I can promise you will not regret it. And remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content as it helps a lot and it's free to do. If you're new here, to analyze equities, I will use a six-step valuation process which consists of the step shown on the slide. Additionally, the DCF model used for the price target will be available to download in the description below. On the slide, you can see Upwork's flywheel of value creation, where the more freelancers Upwork gets, the more skills and categories Upwork can provide, which attracts more clients, which leads to more and bigger projects, which increases the GSV, the gross sales value, which then attracts more freelancers. And this repeats over and over again, creating more and more value to all stakeholders involved. Upwork offers three freelancer plan and three client plans. The Upwork basic offer provides clients with access to projects and Upwork's platform security features. Meanwhile, the Upwork Plus offering is designed for teams looking to stand out to quality talent and scale hiring quickly. In addition to receiving all the product features of Upwork Basic, Upwork Plus clients can access personalized assistance, whether strategic or job specific. They also receive perks such as custom badges and personalized URLs, which stand out to top talent and help clients achieve results. Finally, Upwork Enterprise offering is designed for clients with at least 250 employees. Upwork Enterprise clients receive all the product features of Upwork Plus, and in addition, they receive a dedicated team of advisors, detailed reporting with company insights and trends to enable clients to hire faster and more successfully. Upwork Enterprise also offers access to additional product features. Focusing on the two main players of the new gig economy, Upwork and Fiverr, they're the most well-known players. They're known for their high valuation, high revenue growth, and their high gross profit margins. For competitive advantages, Upwork has the brand awareness, its reputation. It offers availability of jobs for freelancers in a very smooth way, and it creates on-demand talent for clients. Additionally, it has direct and indirect network effects, which is crucial because it enables Upwork to try and race to reach critical mass before its competitors. Additionally, it has high switching costs when customers are entrenched, and this comes from the star system and the customer-client relationships inside the platform. And on the right, you can see the value creation from the client cohort graph, where as uh, every year Upwork gets more and more clients, uh, these clients spend more and more money, and this enables Upwork to have exponential revenue growth throughout the years. Upwork's CEO is Hayden Brown since January 2020. She also worked in Microsoft, McKinsey & Company, LifePerson, and her value creation is on par with the S&P 500 since she became a CEO. On the graph, you can see on the green rectangle, we had the exuberance with low cap stocks and Upwork turning profitability. And now from the red rectangle, you can see that we went back to the long term trend and we'll be preparing for the next run, probably as Upwork turns profitable again around 2024. The financial situation of Upwork is healthy. They have a cash and cash equivalent of 675.8 million with a total debt of 582.5 million, with long-term debt being 563.5 million, so around 97% of the outstanding debt. They have a quick ratio of 2.95, so Upwork has low risks of insolvency, indicating a healthy balance sheet. There are five main risks present in Upwork. The first is the microeconomic factors, specifically inflation and recession, that will hit the economy as a whole and upward could be affected by slowing earnings growth. Secondly, growth depends on both ecosystems and there is a fine balance between clients and freelancers as if one ecosystem lags behind, it will greatly slow down the flywheel. Thirdly, if the security and reliability of the platform fails, Upwork will lose trust and the flywheel will spin backwards, destroying value. Fourthly, Upwork is in a highly competitive market 
where there are multi-homing problems for both freelancers and clients, and Upwork right now is focusing heavily on enterprises. So if you believe B2C is more important than B2B in this market, then Fiverr might actually be a better investment for you. Finally, Upwork has a history of losses. They may not be able to become profitable or sustain it as they keep growing, and that is a major risk for any investment. The price target from the DCF model is $42 and the current price right now is $13. And as a reminder, the DCF model is in the description below to download for free. This is my Upwork DCF model going until 2030. This DCF model yields a perpetuity value of 32 and an EBITDA value of 50. Using the average of these two values, I get a price target of 41.2, which is the 206% upside from the current prices. To analyze the inputs used to reach these values, I extrapolated the revenues, the marketplace revenue and the services revenue, and I went lighter, so more conservative on the marketplace revenue and slightly heavier on the services revenues. For the cost of goods sold, I extrapolated as a percentage of revenues and I did the same for depreciation and capital expenditure. These assumptions led to 2030 values shown on the slide. And using a 19% applicable tax rate due to tax write-offs, a discount rate of 10%, and a long-term perpetuity growth rate value of 4%, I get the perpetuity approach value. And using an EBITDA multiple of 21x, I get an EBITDA approach value of 50. In conclusion, Upwork's ecosystem is rapidly growing. They have a strong financial position with a good management. However, Upwork has risk. Therefore, check the risk and reward for you. And as a reminder, this is not financial advice, but personally, Upwork at these levels offer a great diversifying opportunity with medium risks and high rewards. Therefore, I would slowly add Upwork to a new portfolio. If you reach the end of the video, you're awesome. And if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe as it will greatly help and support the channel. Have a good rest of your day and I'll see you next time.